Well, it's not just the southeast experiencing high water, but also further west in the border town of Gundawindi. Happily, the levee holding back the Makatai River did its job and disaster was averted for now. Seven's Paul Caddick was there. The McIntyre River is the border between New South Wales and Queensland and today it was causing problems for both sides of that border. Concern for the town of Gundawindi, population 6,000. There was predictions that uh, the river would peak there at 10.85 metres, a town whose levees can only handle up to 11 metres. So it was concerned that it wouldn't take much to overtop that levee and cause some major flooding problems. But as the day wore on, the river only went about as high as 10.65 metres, so uh, well below uh, what the levee could withstand. That's still a record for Gundawindi, uh, beating the record from in 1996. So it is the biggest test so far for that levy. As we watched with anxious locals, we got various views about what the river would do. We've been down here at midnight and Kat's been down here at 3am and been checking phones and they've been great on Facebook and the radios. We're just watching the water come up the road and yeah, that was That's a bit scary. Yeah, we started to get pretty nervous there yesterday. We were all out there sandbagging. One lady we spoke to was Nicole Gregg. Now, just a few days ago, her home in Toowoomba was devastated by the major rainstorm that they had there. She came to Gundawindi to actually escape from the flooding problems and found herself right in the middle of them, staying with friends there. She was getting ready to flee once more. <laughs> it doesn't look good, but we're prepared. We're ready to evacuate. We've got the car packed and the kids are ready. Um, I've got three myself and my friend has her two as well plus both of our parents. There has been praise for the community at Gundawindi to be so prepared for what was coming. They had pumps in place, they had evacuated uh, part of the hospital and the, the nursing home in town uh, and had uh, alerts going out to community members uh, should the uh, river have risen any further. So praise for there. The Premier of Queensland, Anna Bly, has said uh, it looks like uh, good news for Gundawindi that it will not join the list of 86 communities across Queensland that have been devastated by these floods. Now further upriver in the, on the New South Wales side, uh, the town of Bog and the community of Tumala uh, have been evacuated in recent days ahead of what the McIntyre was going to do there. At Bogabilla, predictions of a flood peak of 12.8 metres. Again, another record flood peak that would have been, but it seems to have peaked at only about 12 and a half metres, less than what they thought. But uh, flying over the town today and, uh, and visiting the town on the ground today, we saw that uh, many streets in Bogabilla have water over them. Uh, it looks like there hasn't been a lot of damage to properties and, and homes, although there's some businesses look like they have had some water through them. Uh, so. Uh, it looks like there is some damage to clean up there, but it will be some time before authorities will allow people who've evacuated back into that community. Those floodwaters are expected to be there for some days, and then they have to check to make sure that things like the sewerage system uh, is working fine before they allow people back in. Here in Moree, we're at the evacuation centre where hundreds of Bogabilla residents are waiting for when they can return home. Uh, there is some good news tonight in that the peak wasn't as bad, but they'll be waiting, it seems, for a, a little while yet before they can return home. From Maureen, it's back to you. Okay, thank you very much, Paul. Paul Caddick reporting there.